Stadium in the London borough of Hillingdon, then why not come check out the Fenton Civil Engineering Stadium, home of Northwood. They play their football in the Ithamen League South Central Division. And today it's match day and they take on Chesham United in the first home game friendly of the season. is 3,075 with 308 available seats. The main stand is named after the Byrne family, in particular Pat Byrne, who was associated with the club for 65 years. Sadly, he passed away last year, but this is a fitting tribute for an absolute legend. Let's check out the changing rooms in the clubhouse. First thing you see in the corridor is the colour scheme. It's half and half red and white. There are shirt plaques on the wall for club legends and on the left, a quote from the special one. Here's the away dressing room layout. Chesham are wearing their blue warm up tops tonight. Don't wash your boots in the shower or sink. The generals will be wearing their yellow kit tonight. Let's check out the home dressing room. It's the same layout as the away with four communal showers and another quote. So Ben Murray, manager, Northwood FC. What made you apply for the Northwood job? I'd been out of the game for a couple of years in terms of management. So I was manager at Ashford for a few years uh, and then went in as an assistant at Farnborough uh, for a few years as well. Then thought actually it's the right time to get back into the game as in the number one. Uh, and it's been enjoyable so far. So yeah, good to get going. What was the interview process like? It was good actually. I, to be honest, I came in with a with just an open mind. Uh, I'm as honest as the day is long, so and players will tell you that. Um, and to be honest, I've, Ian was exactly the same. The chairman was, was very honest with me, and I was honest with him. So it seemed to, to click in that way. It was good. When you left your interview with the big dogs, did you think you'd got the job? Good question. I, I thought I had a good chance just by the way in which the the conversation went. Really. Um, so yeah. I, that's a very good question. I, I would say, yeah, I thought I had a decent chance because I backed myself to, to be in the first place. And what kind of style of manager are you? Attacking. I'm not that much of a shout. I used to be when I first started, believe it or not. Um, I used to be a bit of a shout, I think, when I was the, the boss, like the big man. But um, but I've mellowed quite a bit now and, and let the football do the talking. It's, uh, yeah, it's a much more of a tactical sort of viewpoint and making sure players, man management style of, of knowing how they work. Nice work, lads. They aren't the only legends to grace this hallowed turf. Current professional footballer Ollie Hawkins once played for the Woods, and he was a goal machine. He won back-to-back -back Golden Boot Awards, the Supporters Player of the Year, and the Manager's Player of the Year. But he'll always be remembered for the guy that did a tequila shot for a game for Hemel Hempstead. It was more just, like I say, a confidence, saying, boys, come on, let's get this down here, and, and get on with it. What was the and shot? Remember now, I don't know if it was, it might have been tequila or sambuca. And if you fancy a pint with your pals, head on over to the Woods Bar. You can chillax on the leather sofas, watch TV, and grab a bite to eat. Here's Lavers with his three word burger review. Fun size. Saucy. Moist. Mm. That's what I need to see. I need to see.
Welcome to non-league dugouts of the week. After Sun, there is so much going on. So let's start with the red concrete block, which is a really good solid foundation for this dugout. The structure, white metalwork with a little bit of perspex, but it has been tinted. We've got two beautiful club crests just at the back. My favorite piece though is this, the home registration. It's a lovely little addition We've also got a cheeky little bit of AstroTurf for the gaffer Ben to run around on. And there is a little bit of extra seating for our substitutes with six school chairs, which, funny enough, Ben Murray, the gaffer, was sitting right here. How much time do you get now to evaluate that game? So we will get the video of that um, over the weekend. Uh, the fact that it's Friday night is a bit better for us. We got a game Tuesday, training Thursday. So we will go into the bar now and, and have a discussion about it, as everyone does over a pint. Uh, and then um, and then we reevaluate it. We've got a WhatsApp group, management group. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Uh, and then we'll go into what we're going to do for the rest of the week on Monday. Happy with the trialists? Yeah, I mean, I think it's always tough. I think um, trialists coming into any team at any time, especially more so a new team, for it to gel and for them not to try too hard. We have to see through that, but yeah, I was happy enough. Do trialists get in touch with you? There's a trialist email address we've got here, so they can come through into that, uh, or they can contact me in my phone, uh, which I get a lot of those, uh, and you get some unbelievably good ones and, and some unbelievably ones that you just think, where have they come from? But we give everybody a chance. I'm always someone that gives someone a chance, especially in a, in a new club. How many Sammy Bad, and at the moment I'm on trial at Norfolk. How did the trial come about? Well, actually, I know Ben from a couple of years back. I was at Ashford Town, the men's team, around 17 years old. And since then, he's kept in contact with me. And since that game, I went into Abe Swimbledon as well on trial. Um, but for nothing, nothing really came from it. And literally two, three weeks ago, he told me to come down here, get some, get some minutes under my belt. Is the goalkeeper the best position or the worst position to be on trial at? A bit of both, really. Depends how you, how you, how you deal with it. Um, obviously, you can be a saviour. And obviously, you can be the one of them ones where it goes through your legs. But obviously, today, it wasn't one of them ones, but yeah, I'm being on trial is, is quite nerve wracking because if you do one mistake at the back, that knife cell time is going to go in back to the goal. So yeah, it's a bit of a nervous one. How, how many games does a manager normally give you on trial? Probably three or four games. Um, well, listen, if, you, if you're in the first game making a mistake, you'll be out of the squad 100%. So it's one of them ones. So you have to be on job every single time you're playing. Will you be knocking on the manager's door asking if you'll pick for the next game? Uh, we'll see. We'll see what he says. See how see how done today and see how done last game. So hopefully, yeah. Oh,